What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mix here, and today I bring you some evil heroes, that's right, um, this is another overlooked archetype uh, that doesn't get that much attention because they're not as good as a generic Destiny hero, Elemental hero, or even Neo Spatians for that matter, but uh, before we get started, please comment, like, subscribe, and let's get right into the deck profile, so here we go, we play one Elemental hero, Sparkman, the evil version, one Clayman, there has to be an evil version printed, come on, let's go, one evil Elemental Elemental Hero Bersinitrix, one evil Elemental Hero Avion, uh, that's to round up the normal monsters, and we play one evil hero Malicious Edge, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute summon this card, face face up with one tribute, if this card attacks the position monster, you inflict piercing damage, uh, we have it just for the Malicious Fiend name, then we have one evil hero Sinister Necrom, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one evil hero monster from your deck or hand, except itself. So we want to summon one of these three guys. Then we play Triple Evil Hero, Dust the Gold, the best evil hero. You can discard this card, add one Dark Fusion and one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand, except itself. I cannot attack unless you control a fusion monster, but we discard it to search Dark Calling or Supreme King Castle. Either way, we're doing good. Then we play Double Stratos because we need that hero search. We play one Wild Heart uh, because we have the uh, original Elemental Heroes in there. Then we play Triple Vision Hero, Ferris, uh, because we want to get enough monsters for the Link Summon. Then we play one Vision Hero, Vion, and one Vision Hero, Increase Vion to send Sinister Necrom and to search Polymerization, and one Increase because we play the Triple uh, Ferris. But yeah, we, we need these to get bodies on board to do our Link Summoning shenanigans. Then Triple Ash, and a Triple Nibiru. Nibiru's a rock perfect for Evil Hero Dark Gaia material. As well, now for the spells, we play Triple Hero Lives because we want to get Stratos to search the Dusted Gold or the Ferris for our combos. We play Double Dark Calling, Fusion Summon 1 Fusion Monster from your extra deck that must be Fusion Summon with Dark Fusion by banishing materials mentioned on it from your hand in your graveyard. Uh, graveyard Fusing, it's where it's at. Then we play Double Dark Fusion, Fusion Summon 1 Fiend Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or for the Fusion Material. Uh, all the evil heroes are Fiend, which is great. Then one Polymerization. Uh, just to have an extra poly and if we have Supreme King's Castle it becomes Dark Fusion as well Then one Rota because they're all warrior double cosmic cyclone. This is a going second deck uh, Because going first we don't really have uh, that much to set up like we do in the generic hero combos Triple forbidden droplet because we are going second again and then one a Supreme King's Castle You can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summon with dark fusion with effects other than dark fusion So basically polymerization once returned during damage calculation if your fiend monster battles an opponent's monster You can send one evil hero monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard Your monster gains attack equal to the level of that monster sent to the graveyard times 200 nice little attack boost Let's you use poly uh, and it's just a name to search for it Thus the gold then triple imperm to round it off now for the extra deck We play double extra hero infernal divisor because this is the one that gets us to everything we need two hero monsters if this card is linked summon you can reveal one hero fusion monster in your extra deck and if you do add up to two of the fusion materials mentioned on that card with different names from your deck to your hand you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except hero monsters fiend monsters this card points to gain 100 attack and defense equal to its level and it's one down and one diagonally bottom right so all the fusions all the hero hero fusions list a specific one except dark gaia and malicious bane but anyway all of these would gain attack if they are put in there then one extra hero wonder driver it's a hero deck um we can get back dark fusion uh set or polymerization then one extra hero dread decimator just because we need to pump up our monsters then we play one elemental hero grand merge two hero normal monsters which is we play the four normal monsters must be fusion summon gains attack and defense equal to the combined original levels of the materials used first card times 300 when this card destroys the monster and opponent's monster by battle you can tribute this card special summon one elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck ignoring summoning conditions but it cannot attack monsters with equal or lower level than it so you can basically summon every anything and that's why we have a uh, shining neo swingman as a target for grand merch then we play one evil hero infernal sniper in case our opponent does make us go first because there are some decks who like to go second as well 
Must be fusion summoned with dark fusion. Cannot be destroyed by spell effects. Once per turn during your standby phase, you inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. This card might be in face-up defense position to resolve this effect. So we just it's a 2,500 body, so that's nice. Then we play and it's a uh, claim and Ember Stunatrix. Then we play one evil hero, Infernal Ring. Elemental Hero Avion and Elemental Hero Prestinatrix must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. If this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack or defense, whichever is higher. I love the artwork. It's it's awesome. Then we play one hero, evil hero, Lightning Golem, probably the second best uh, hero besides Malicious Bane. Uh, must be special summon with Dark Fusion. It's Sparkman and Clayman. Once per turn, you can target one monster on the field. Destroy. Boom. Best one. Best one. Yeah. Uh, 2400 attack. Uh, then we play Double Hero, Evil Hero, Dark Guy. One Fiend monster and one Rock monster. So the Fiend targets are this. And the Rock monster is the Nibiru. Um, the original attack of this card becomes a combined original attack of the materials used. So 3000 plus 21 is 51, which is amazing. Uh, when this card declares an attack, you can change all face up. Face. All defense position monsters your opponent controls face up. Flip effects are not activated. So, not only does it interrupt your opponent from activating their effects face down, but it changes um, them to attack mode to just punch them in the face. Then, one evil hero, Wild Cyclone. This is Elemental Hero Avion and Wild Heart. Must be special summon with Dark Fusion. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, destroy all set spells and traps. I wish it was a little bit stronger, maybe 2,000, but we'll take it. And it's a nice spell and trap. And we'll then double evil hero, Malicious Bane, the best evil hero. One evil hero monster plus one level high, five or higher monster. Must be special summon with Dark Fusion. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Boom, untargetable. During your main phase, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card's 3,000. Not original attack, attack. So if this card is sitting under um, Infernal Divisor, it gains 800 attack, so it's 38. So anything under the 38, boom. Also, you cannot declare an attack for the rest of the turn except hero monsters. That's fine, we play hero anyway. So yeah, this is the best evil hero card. Then one Shining Neo Swingman for the Grand Merge target. Um, if this card special summon, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes among monsters on the field. Gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. So not only does it get pumped up, it pops. Then last but not least, Evil Hero Malicious Fiend. We play one of them. It's Malicious Edge and one level 6 or higher Fiend monster. Must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. During your opponent's battle phase, all monsters you control are changed to phase of attack position. And each monster you control must attack this card. If able, it's a 35 body. But under, um, under extra hero, it is 4300 attack. But yeah, that's the deck. Let's get into some duels, shall we? Alright, here we go. We are going second. Our opponent does Labyrinth Ash, but we Ash. So we summon Stratos. Stratos search Ferris. Then they activate the Black Gold Laugh, so I can't use Ferris effect. So I'll just discard Dustless Gold to search Dark Fusion. Then I can't special summon monsters anymore because of the Labyrinth Goat. Now I activate... Um, Ferris, he does the Goats effect, Ferris summons, I uh, link into Infernal Divisor, I search Wild Heart and, and, uh, and Avion to special summon Wild Cyclone, Wild Cyclone is 2700, so I enter battle phase, in fact it pops all the cards, then 17 and I pass, and they scoop because they don't have anything, so as you can see Wild Cyclone becomes from 19 to 27 which is a lot more threatening, let's get into the next one. All right, here we go. We are going second. They're playing some sort of Karibo deck. <laughs> and they make Apeloza with the Karibos. Multiply. Here we go. Link into Ip. Link into Unchained Abomination. So here we go. I uh, use Forbidden Droplet, Discarding Melissa's Edge, and Polymerization to negate their effects. Then I activate Hero Lives to search for Stratos. Stratos, I search a Dusted Gold. A Dusted Gold, I search Dark Fusion. I summon um, Vion, Vion Effects, and Necrom. Uh, reinforces the army. I search Wild Heart. I link into um, Infernal Divisor. I search Sparkman and Clayman. Then I banish Sinister Necrom to special summon Malicious Edge. I activate Dark Fusion to summon Lightning Golem. Lightning Golem Effect, Pop the Apoloza. Then attack. Then I pass, and they have nothing else. 
Here we go. I, I go Dark Calling. And then Karibo, you know, doesn't let me attack, but they don't have anything. So they scoop anyway. That's already two wins. Um, Let's keep going. All right, here we go. The last and final duel. We're going second again. They play Nadir Servant. I Ash it. They play Runic Fountain. They summon Ecclesia. They search Dogmatica Matrix. Dogmatica Matrix. They search the Albazoa. And they pass. My go. Uh, I normal summon Stratos. Stratos effects search a Dust of Gold. I activate Dark Fusion. Fusing um, Malicious Bane. They activate uh, Dogmatica Punishment, but they do not read. You get players to read. Uh, so they have to target my Stratos. They send the Tri Brigade. Bicephalus. Bicephalus sends the uh, Garura. They draw a card. Then I activate Malicious Bane effect, destroying everything. Then I Dark Calling to banish Nibiru and a Dustic Gold to go for game. Now, as you can see, this deck uh, thrives on going second. Um, I wish it needs one more wave of support, something to to be able to play first, an interruption going first on your opponent's turn, and maybe maybe incorporate the older uh, evil heroes because the older evil heroes, there's only two main deck evil hero monsters: Infernal Gainer and evil hero inferno prodigy everything else is the extra deck so maybe well and and now uh necro uh necro shaman and uh a dusted gold but maybe one more one more uh maybe evil hero neos or something you know so can, they can contact you and stuff like that but anyway uh if you like my content please comment like subscribe it's your boy make signing off stay evil